9-11 shook us to our core. Anybody that was of age during that time, it's like the Kennedy assassination. Where were you on 9-11? And everybody has their story. It, it, it has marked our generation. It was a win for the bad guys. We can't let that happen again. The 9-11 attacks bring immediate and profound change to commercial aviation, both in the US and around the world. The situation for airport security, airplane security, was a lot different prior to 9-11 than it is today. Just two months after the attacks, the US government creates the Transportation Security Administration, or TSA. The federal government took direct responsibility for aviation security. And the screeners are now federal employees. The training certainly has improved. The TSA brings in strict new rules on what travelers can carry on planes. Airports start screening passengers with full body scanning machines. There are also major changes to onboard security. The cockpit doors. I mean, it's not just the door, the whole bulkhead on the aircraft has been made darn near impregnable. It's, it's bulletproof, you can't get through the locks. But perhaps the most important change to security has come not from new rules or better technology, but from the permanently altered attitudes of airline passengers everywhere. Today, the assumption by passengers, if they feel threatened with hijacking, is not one of compliance. You saw somebody in the back of the plane get up and say, you know, start screaming things running to the front of the plane. You have a choice of sitting in your seat and minding your own business, or you have the option of standing up saying, uh-uh. I guarantee you, you're going to stand up. The paradigm has changed.